So in this problem, we're told to verify that the function satisfies the three hypotheses of Rolle's theorem on the given interval. Then find all numbers c that satisfy the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. So first, let's look at the three hypotheses and see if our function uh, satisfies this. So we have the function f of x equals the square root of x minus 1 over 7x, and we're given this interval 0 to 49. So is our function continuous from a to b? Well, we know that we have the square root of x here. So the square root of x, we can't put in any number that's negative, but everything else checks out. But we're given a function or an interval that's from 0 to 49, so there are no negative numbers. So that means this is going to be continuous. Is it differentiable, though? Well, from this interval, no matter what number we could plug in our x values, we would be able to differentiate. So yes, it's differentiable. Is f of b equal to f of a? So let's test that. So f of, we're going to say that a is 0 and b is 49. So let's just say f of 49 is equal to the square root of 49 minus 1 over 7 times 49. So if we go ahead and do this, the square root of 49 is going to be 7. Then 1 over 7 times 49 is just 7. So 7 minus 7 is going to be 0. And then that means in order for this to work, when we plug in 0, it has to give us 0 too. So we have the square root of 0 minus 1 over 7 times 0. So the square root of 0 is just 0. Minus 1 over 7 times 0, 0. And then that means f of a is going to be equal to f of b. They're both going to be 0. So all three of our um, hypotheses check out. So what does Rolle's theorem actually tell us? It tells us that the derivative of our function, so f of c, I'm just replacing it with x, is going to be equal to 0. So basically what we need to do is take the derivative of this function, set it equal to 0, solve for x, and our x value is going to be c. So we're given this function f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 1 over 7 times x. So what's the derivative of this going to be equal to? So if we differentiate, what is the derivative of the square root of x? Well, this is going to be the same thing as x to the 1 half. If we move the 1 half down, we're going to get 1 half x, and then we subtract 1 from this, so minus 1 half. So 1 half times x to the minus 1 half. And I'm just going to rewrite that as 1 over 2 rad x, because they're basically the same thing. And then the derivative of minus 1 over 7, x, is just going to be minus 1 over 7. So now we got the derivative. And so what we want to do is set this equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is move this to the other side, the minus 1 over 7. So we have 1 over 2 rad x is equal to 1 over 7. And so uh, what we could do here is just multiply both sides by 2 rad x times 7. So basically these are going to cancel. So we're just going to get 2 rad x is equal to 7. So if we want to solve this for x, we can just divide both sides by 2. We'll get rad x is equal to 7 over 2. Then we can square both sides to get rid of the square root. And so x is going to be equal to 7 squared, which is 49, over 2 squared, which is 4. So this is going to be our x value, but what we're solving for is basically c. So we know that c is going to be equal to 49 over 4. So the answer to this problem is going to be 49 over 4.